What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on East Carolina and ended up winning 36 to 30. It was a close knit game throughout. They had the deadly backfield of a dual threat quarterback with an impact halfback. They ran all over us, but we was able to come out on top. And we are still undefeated. We're 9 0. We're seventh in the country, which is crazy to think about. And we are going to play our last conference game of the season, and that is against Tulsa. We have already locked up the division. We'll check that out here in a little bit. But we're going to take on the Hurricanes today. They're our C-plus overall program. We're B-minus. So there's about the same amount of talent. They're not doing a whole lot offensively. Looks like their defense is really solid. If I'm not mistaken, they run a 3-3-5 defense. They beat us last year. So hopefully we can get some revenge on them today. Now, quickly, in season recruiting, we are done with that. We've already locked up all four of these commitments. We're really excited about them coming into our program next year. I can't wait to see what these guys could do. Very good chance all four may be starters for us day one. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's check out the bowl rankings. This technically matters to us. I can't believe I'm saying that, but they have us 10th in the bowl rankings. Just crazy. I just wasn't expecting that. I was just kind of thinking maybe lose a couple games probably in the conference, but still try to compete for the conference. But nowhere was I thinking of bowl rankings at this point in time, but we're 10th in the country, and I think that is incredible. Uh, I'm not worried about top 25 polls, so it doesn't matter anymore. Let's go to Heisman Watch. And Williams is out of the race altogether. He was in here for a couple of weeks, then he dropped out. Now, you got to remember, we just had a bye week. That does not help things. My guess, he's just outside of the top five. We get him back going again. And I'm sure he could be in that top five somewhere. But you see here, Brian Brom, that's Jeff Brom's uh, little brother. You know, Jeff Brom is now the head coach at Louisville. Uh, South Carolina quarterback, you got Mark Sanchez, and he got a couple players from the University of Michigan. It is award season time. We are down to our semifinals. This is the first time we got to look at this. We should have maybe a couple players on here. As you can see out of the gate, the Maxwell Award, we got Williams. He is fifth on the list, which is pretty cool to see. And there is Stucky. I was not expecting our true freshman quarterback to be on any awards list. I just kind of want him to be, you know, just kind of be a game manager of some sort, but he has exceeded all of our expectations. As you can tell by his stats, he has just done a great job for us. He's got a really bright future ahead, that's for sure. So we got two guys on the Maxwell Award. Let's keep going. The big New York Award, there is Ryan Stamper. You know, he was the Juco kid. No, he was not a Juco kid. He was a transfer we got from some school. I already forgot where, but he has played great for us this season. 40 tackles, a sack, five interceptions, a few forced fumbles, and a touchdown. Really cool to see him on the list. Best quarterback, Stucky, is on there. He is in the seventh spot. Really neat. The Walker Award, of course, Williams is on there. He'll be hanging around the top five for the remainder of the season as long as he stays healthy. The Wide Receiver Award, I don't think we have one guy just putting up crazy numbers. We're kind of sharing the wealth between Gidros and uh, Cooper. So that doesn't shock me we don't have anybody on there. Tidy, I'd like to think that Wright could have been on there, but I guess he doesn't have enough touchdowns and catches. It just, you know, the our passing game is set up to where it's just whoever is open, that's where the ball is going to. We're not really forcing it on anybody. Offensive line, I don't know if we'd have anybody on here. Looks like we don't. Uh, the Remington, at your best center, we don't have anybody on there. The Lombardi, we don't have anybody on there either. Best linebacker, of course, there's Stamper. He is in sixth place for now. The Thorpe Award, little Anthony Gibbons. I wasn't for sure if he was going to be on here, but 37 tackles. He's got five sacks, an interception, two forced fumbles, six touchdowns. Of course, a lot of that is special teams related. Just incredible. A great find for us. If I'm not mistaken, he was what? Maybe a three-star at the most. He could have been a two-star. Just a little athlete who can really fly. And we've taken or making the most out of his talent so far. And we got another guy on here. I wasn't expecting this either. Jonathan Bale, the free safety. He's got four interceptions. You get around that area, you're going to be notified or recognized of some sort. And he's as talent-wise, you look at his overall, it's just a 76. Very good chance that other freshman coming in next year may take that spot. We'll see how that goes. But it's really cool to see Bale on the list. The Groza Award. We got Barrett Pepper, redshirt senior kicker. He's had a great year. 
Five of five on the field goals. Perfect on the extra points as well. Really neat. So we got a bunch of guys up for these awards. Punter, I don't think we'd have a punter on here. We don't punt enough, which is a good thing. Uh, returner, I figure Gibbons will be on here some. Yes, he is. They got him at 10th. I guess he doesn't have enough returns to get much higher. But either way, it's just really cool that he's on there. Then last but not least, the best coach award. We are number one on the list. I think if we win out, we probably get that. But that's going to be really tough because we got two non-conference games on the back end. I think it's Florida and Michigan State. It's going to be really tough. But either way, really cool to see us on there. So the awards, it's kind of a big deal for us this season. We're kind of scattered across those lists. Let's go to Players of the Week, the national ones at least. Uh, halfback out of Clemson had a really good game. Looks like a middle linebacker out of South Carolina put up some serious numbers. 11 tackles, three sacks, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. That's pretty impressive. You go to conference standings. We, like I said, we should have locked up the division, and we have. We only got one conference game left, and we already have a two-game lead on everybody. So we can lose today, and it's not going to make a difference. We are going to play in the conference championship game the first time we've done that the entire dynasty. You look at our team info screen, our backup free safety. Again, he's been out for a while. He, he will be back for the bowl game at least. Uh, you look at our offensive stats. Stucky Williams Cooper has been the same three all season. Same on the defensive side. Stamper, Nixon, and Stamper. It's crazy. Stamper's leading in interceptions. That's just kind of the way it's worked out. Of course, I control him a lot of the times, especially in passing situations. So it's cool to see him just dominate at that position. Let's check out Tulsa. They are five and two in the conference. That's actually pretty good. Uh, they don't have any injuries. They won their last game against UTEP. Their quarterback is just doing okay. 16 touchdowns, six picks. Uh, their leading rusher, only 45 yards a game. Receiving, not much there either. And you look on the defensive side, they got one dude leading in sacks and in interceptions. Kind of like Stamper, in a sense. All right, I think we are ready to take on the Golden Hurricanes. Let's go ahead. And looks like we got somebody in trouble out of the gate. So let's look and see what the deal is. Josh Nixon, our best defensive end is in trouble. We got 15 points left. Let's see what he did. Nixon broke team curfew. Uh, letting this type of thing slide doesn't look good for Tulane's program. Now, here's the problem. Our bar keeps going up. We can't lower down hardly at all. We only got 15 points left. I'm going to use that. We're going to have him sit out. Uh, we'll do one game. I, I, I'm just going to do one game. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm not going to suspend here for two games over something like that. Plus, we may need those nine points to uh, take down the discipline bar if somebody else gets in trouble within the next couple of weeks. We still got two games after this one, including the conference title game, including the champion or our bowl game. So we got a lot of games left to play. So we're just going to suspend him for one game. And let's check out Tulsa's uniforms. This is their away. That's a pretty neat setup. The gold, that's like a dark. Gold, do they have an alternate? They do. They got the blue, which is pretty cool. I kind of like that. I think I may go with the alternate two for them. All right, let's head into the game. It should be a lot of fun. Now, you got to remember, we got beat by them last year. Hopefully, we can take care of it today. I really like to see us go undefeated in the conference. We got to check our defensive end situation with Nixon. I think we got enough depth there. I'm not too worried about that. But this is the first time we've had a home game in a while. I feel like we've been on the road, what seems like ages. We got a packed house in the dome. I think we'll have sellout crowds for the remainder of the dynasty, as long as we keep winning. Really cool. Of course, we don't have to worry about weather at home. And here are the division standings. Just a great season for us. Just out and away just done a whole lot better than the other teams in the division and here come the green wave seventh in the country nine and oh man who would have thunk it really cool they're going to highlight williams we're going to try to give him the ball quite a bit today hopefully he can dominate as long as he's an impact guy we're going to give him the ball quite a bit i assume they're going to pick us the win and they are let's go to the coin toss let's see what they pick they're going to heads and we are getting uh, a choice first. Let's uh, let's just get the ball first. I'm okay with that. 
Tulsa is in the process of hiring a new coach in real life. Have they hired a new one? I don't think. Yes, they hired a. Oh, the guy who used to be the head coach in Indiana. He's been at Ohio State the last several years. Already forgot his name. Anyway, that's the new head coach at, uh, at Tulsa. He used to be uh, an offensive coordinator at Oklahoma back when Bob Stoops was there back in the late 2000s. Just a little bit of small tree. It's a shame I forgot it. Kevin, oh, Kevin Sup, that's going to eat me alive. All right, let's get to our roster. I want to check out our defensive end situation right here. So Harris is there. So I think we're going to be fine today. Ellis is backing up everybody, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we kind of, okay, I think we're going to be fine there. I just wanted to make sure we were set up properly at that position. All right, they got an impact quarterback. He's a pocket passer. He's only got 68 speed. Hopefully, they don't have an impact halfback, and thankfully, they don't. 80 and 82, both of these guys will play some today, I would think. Fullback, nothing there. Wide receiver, impact wide receiver. So that tells me they're going to throw a little bit, you would think, with a quarterback and a wide receiver being impact guys. Uh, 76, 74, 76, a bit of a drop-off from their main guy. Tight ends. They always seem to have good tight ends here. Now, they got two seniors, so they're going to be gone. But 87 and 84, both of them are just got average speed, but both of them can catch. So I would expect a couple of these guys to make a catch or two today. You look at their offensive line. They got 70, 70, 80, 80, and 78. Not very good at all, especially on that left side of the line. Again, I think they read the 335. I should do my scouting better. I should remember what they've done last year, but I'm pretty sure it's 335. So they got an 85 and 72 on the ends. This guy's too small to be a three down uh, defensive end, but that's not my problem to worry about. Uh, defensive tackle, one really good one, 87 overall, then a bit of a drop off after him. You look at the linebackers, you got 84. Their backup is an impact guy, so he's going to get on the field some, I would think. 78 middle linebacker and right outside linebacker, 80. So this guy, just making sure, yeah, he'll be on the field sometime, I would think, today. Corners, 80, 80s, and we're not going to see these guys hardly at all unless they go nickel or dime, which is, you know, possible. But not bad at corner for the conference. Free safety, 76, 76, 74. This guy's their starter, and he's really slow. 82 speed. Maybe we could take advantage of that today. Strong safety, 78 to 76. Just a bunch of average dudes, but not bad for the conference, I guess. But he, too, isn't very fast at only 82 speed. They got an awful kicker, and they got an awful punter. Oh, uh, yes, a senior and a freshman. All right, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to run my offense like normal. Don't really have to change much there. Looks like Batiste is going to get a crack at this. I think I'm going to give him a chance if we can get a block or two. Ah, oh, I got ran into my own player. I need to make one sub package adjustment. We'll go here and fix that. We could just stay here. And let's start off with Y stick. So, yes, they are 3 3 5. They're going man. We are going to go to one of the outside receivers. We're doing that. Go to Gidros. Get about five yards. We need to attack the flats quite a bit today. That's a good way to attack the 3-3-5. Now they're going man-dime, so what do I know? They're doing that. We can try. I'm going to hot route Gidro, so I may go to him if they go cover zero, but they're not. We're going to go to Williams or impact halfback. Get an easy run there. We can try. Uh, I want to go. We're going to go dive. Since they're go three three five, let's go halfback dive. I assume they're going. No, they're going dime. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will probably. Let me just look at the matchups here. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter. Let's just go. Have to bounce it out here. Get about four or five yards. Not a whole lot. We can stay here and. Uh, I don't mind running some option. Let's just flip this. They're going zone nickel. So they're just calling every formation out there, which is okay. Uh, let's go this way. That's fine. Get a block. Good block right there by the tight end. Oh, I didn't get the first. I did not get it. Uh, third and inches. I'm going to go wide receiver curls again. They're going man 3-3-5. Three, three, I'm, I'm hoping I don't mess this up. I don't know what to expect and who's going to cover who. We keep it simple. Just go back to Williams again. Just get the first down. 
Good play there. So next what we're going to do, we're going to go gun normal. What do you have in mind? I'm going to go halfback screen if I can find it. There it is. I still want to attack these flats. They're going man, so we're going to go to somebody on the left. They're going cover one, it appears. Great throw. Great, great throw. Break up a first. Uh, we can go halfback dive from gun normal. If I can, there it is. There's their 335. So maybe we can attack the middle a little bit. Now they got a really good defensive tackle. Let's see how this goes. Not bad. Pick up four or five yards. I'll take that any day of the week. We can try. I'm going to keep Williams out there. We're going to go power option. They're going man nickel. They're doing that. Ooh, let's just do this. Ooh, I got almost got hit. I'm just going to keep this with stuck. That's a face mask. They didn't call it. Good play, though. Uh, we are on the six-yard line. Ooh, I don't know. They may go goal line on me. No, nope, they're not going to. They're going man 5-2. Yeah, they're just calling every formation out there. I'm just going to go over to Gidros again. We're going to pick up the touchdown, hopefully. Ah, overshot it. Over, overshot it. We're on the six. I don't know if they're going to... Let's go speed option. 3-3-5. Three, three, Usually around the six-yard line is when they start getting funky with their formations in terms of, like, goal line and such. There's not a whole lot there. Good defense across the board. Oh, we are going. It's on the sixth. Oh, this is going to be tough. I'm going to go wide stick. They're going man. We're going to try to go to Gidros again. Now they're going goal line. I don't know if we got enough. We're going to have to make a really good throw here. I'm going to have to bounce this over there. Oh, did we get it? Ah, oh, six points. This is a good teaching point. Really good job by this corner. Now, we still got the touchdown, but you go back and look at this. Notice what the cornerback does. He does like a bump and run, I guess, but he gets in front of Gidros like that. I normally don't expect Gidros to cut in like he did, but this forces the cornerback to get between Gidros and the ball. So what I'm doing at this point, I'm seeing this right here to where if I threw a bullet pass, that corner would probably pick it off. So what I've done was done a normal pass. I just done a press of the button, and I'm just waiting for him to get underneath it, and it worked out. At this point, now Gidros is between that corner and the ball, and he's going to get six points out of it. Great play all around. So that's a good start. We will kick an extra point. You rarely see that. Maybe that's just a 3-3-5 three, three, thing. I'm not really sure. But very rarely do you see that cornerback get between the two, at least on that particular route, but he did. But with lobbing the ball just a little bit, giving a little bit of extra touch, gives that wide receiver more time to make a play on it. Looks like they got an impact guy on the right, so I'm going to kick it to the left slightly. This should go to that guy. He's going to return it. So I'm going to make a stop. Get it down to about the 28. I think they're going to throw quite a bit, so what we're going to do is we are going to do a lot of zone. That's the way I normally like to stop the pass. Just zone quarterbacks to the death and see if they can fit the balls in the tight windows. I'm going to do a blitz on this one. We're going to do an easy sack. They went play action, which made it even better. Oh, did I go off sides? No, it's a holding. The play went by so quickly, I didn't even see a hold. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to decline that. We're going to decline and go second and 16. I'm okay with that. Uh, here, we're going to go, we'll go quarters. I probably could have blitzed again. I'll go quarters for now. Let's see how he handles our quarters. I'm going to do an over front. They're going a slot. I love those uniforms. Those look really cool. Good throw, just nowhere really to go. And it is third and 12, so let's go cloud. Another reason why I declined that penalty was because I wanted to make sure that Givens got the sack. I don't think they would have gave it to him if we would have accepted it. Third and 12. Hopefully they don't convert this. <laughs> Great defense. Ooh, almost picked off. 
Good stop by Sanders, almost picked off by one of our safeties. And now we're going to force a punt. So a really good start overall. Let's see if we can get back on offense and try to score again. They got a lefty punter. I like him to shank it to the left. That'd be cool. Going to the other side. Do we got any block? Can somebody get a block on that dude on the left? Oh, went right into him. We are on the left hash. Let's go. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to halfback dive. I want to attack that middle, but they're going dime. I didn't think about that. Going four wide, they would go dime a lot more. That makes sense. And we'll do something. I'll bounce it to the left. Just do something like that with Williams. Not bad. Uh, what formation? I haven't done anything from this formation. Let's go P.E. Reed from Gun Trips. Let's get Decray in here. They're going zone dime. I may actually hand the ball off on this one. We have the numbers in the box, even though I went to the outside. Good play there. I'm going to back out of this one. Uh, let's go. That's a little, little, Yeah, let's do tunnel screen. They're going man, but they're going dime. Uh, and they're, oh, they're covering him. I'll do something like this. Good defense overall. Yeah, they covered everything, and I think they even went cover one. So that was just a good play by them in general. So it's third and four. They're on the 44. Uh, I'm going to go speed option. They're going man, but they're going 335. So who's on who? Get a block. Oh, okay. So we lucked out on that one. I'll just keep it with Stucky. Good play there. We are on the right hash. We can do, let me look, see what I got here. I got slot same. Let's do slot same. I haven't called this play in forever. We're going zone. I really only got one option on this one. Looks like we're going to go to Williams. Looks like it's more of a man beater than anything else. We'll have to go over here to Williams. Hopefully Stucky didn't get hurt. He got hit pretty hard. Second and six. Uh, we can go. Let's pass some more. How about, uh, let's do the halfback screen from gun to back slot. We're going zone four, five, two. Okay. We'll go to the halfback. We'll go to the Cray, get a, maybe a first down. Yep. Much more than a first down. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to do QB choice. It's on my mind. But they're going three, three, five and they're going man. I am. We got numbers on the right side. Let's just. Do I'm going to follow my halfback. We're going to do that. Just don't fumble it. Good play by Stucky. We are on the left hash, and I'm about, I'm going to go back to that screen play. Let's go tunnel screen. Go zone. I are going man. And they're going man nickel. I'm going to let that play go. I, we may, that corner on the right side may stop Gibbons. So I'm going to let that play go. All right, so that is the end of the first quarter. We're up seven to nothing, but we're on our way to scoring. I want to try. Uh, we're going to back out of that. Let's go slam out of twins. Man and nickel. Shifting that way. We can add more space. We can go to the left. Something like this. Looks like we're going cover zero. Good block right there. We're going to jog in with Williams. Six points. Great block by our fullback. Now we're up two scores. That may show us a good replay on this one. Yes, look at that fullback. Boom, right there. Good block by Gidros as well. But just like that, we're up 13 to nothing. We'll get an extra point, go up 14, then we'll get back on defense. Try to stop them again. Do something like this. So far, we are doing a good number on their patent defense that it's apparently pretty good. But right now, we're tearing them up. I'm going to kick it over to the left. Something like that. This may come back to the center. Nope, it's going to go over to that guy. That's fine. That's what we want. And a fumble. Somebody get it. Ooh, man, we got almost had one. Who made the hit? Ooh. Oh, strip. Okay, I'm going to go. We're going to send our little engine that can and Gibbons. I'm going to send him on a blitz. Look, they're doing that. I'm going to bring him over. Oh, I can't get over there in time. Dang it. Nope, I'm not going to be able to get over there in time. Ooh, almost picked off. Good play by Smith, or linebacker. 
we can stay here and go quarters. I'll control Stamper. Oh, I'm a left-handed person. There's no special reason why I control Stamper compared to like the middle linebacker or whatever. I'm just a left-handed guy, so I tend to control left guys on my left side, if that makes sense. That's a good play. Good tackle, though, by Sanders. That's why you see me control like the free safety sometimes or Stamper, whoever's on that left side. So it's third and six. I'm going to go Cloud again. I'm going to go after this guy. I'm not worried about him running. We're going ace normal. Let's see if I can get around this tackle. I can't get around him in time. Good catch. Going to pick up the first, but there may be a holding. Oh, nice. I wonder who that was on. Third and 16. Good deal. So we got lucky on that one. I'm going to call Cloud again. <clears throat> and they're going ace big. Maybe tough to give it to this guy. Let's see. The crowd is popping. Uh, get him, get him, get him. So close. And who made the tackle? Anthony Givens. Freshman All-American, no doubt. So we're going to force the punt. Let's see if Givens can make a big play here. I like to see him kick it too very hard to the right. That would be nice. Nope. Pat right down the middle. Go over here. Uh, let's just, yeah, not a, nowhere to go. So we're on the right hash. Let me think. Let me think. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go halfback die from gun to back slot. We're going 3-3-5, three, three, man. I got to be careful here with that linebacker. And back out to the outside. There we go. Had to hesitate a little bit. Don't use the speed button until you have to. Here, I'm just looking at my blocks. I saw this guy about to tackle me right there. So I just moved slightly over to my right. If I would have used the speed button, I wouldn't be able to make that sharp of a move. I probably would have got tackled. Now it's just off to the races. At this point, you could go speed button because there's really nobody in front of you here. Good play by Williams. Let's stay here. I want to call. I got so many decent plays now. Let's go RB deep. For going zone, I have a couple of options. Uh, looks like the only thing I have is over here. Ooh, stay in bounds. Get a first down with Cooper. That's his first catch of the day. I think and Stucky now has officially 2,000 yards on the season. Good for him. We can try. Let's go back to stick from gun normal. Zone 335. I don't know if I've ever ran this play against a 3-3-5 before. He's wide open, though. The stick, right? For about six yards. At seven-yard gain, not bad. Uh, we can... Let's go... Well, we can try a speed option from here. Zone 3-3-5. I am going to get an extra blocker. I think it's in our best interest. Let's just go over here. Good play. I, I probably should have pitched it maybe about a half second later third and five what can we call from here i am going to go let's go half back out we're going zone so we're going to try to bounce this over to decray hopefully if he can get a clear shot through great throw great throw great everything he was able to get through between the tackle and the guard Get a first down there. Not bad. So we are there. I want to go back. Uh, let's do dive from this formation. Zone nickel. I'm going to try my best to get up the crease here. But they got there's a big gaping hole in the left. So let's try that. Nope. Nope. Nothing there. Oh, my gosh. Impact halfback. I love it. I love it. Great play by Williams. This is just nasty stuff right here. Right here, somebody got beat badly. Looks like my right guard and my center both got beat badly by that defensive tackle. Who's their best defensive player? But he breaks the tackle. It helps. At this point, you're making a slick move right there. This will probably be my thumbnail of some sort. Do something like this. Just an incredible play by Williams. Awesome. After that, he's just gone. So we are on the six. I'd like to reward him with a touchdown. Let's go halfback screen. 
Looks like they're going man. Now, I could probably throw to Williams against man, but it's actually safer if I just go to Gidros for a touchdown. And just like that, we are up three scores. There are two minutes left in the quarter. I'd like to get the ball back one more time, get another touchdown before half. Do something like this. So far, everything is going super smooth. But we are the, the better team, got a little more talent than they do. We just had the better season than they have. I'm going to kick it back over to this guy. Looks like we're going to have a really strong kick. He may even take a knee. He's not going to, though. Tackle by 37, whoever you are. I'm going to do another zone blitz. I like to do it when they got a hanging tight end. Do something like this. I hate to flip this. It's kind of tough. I want to get to the weak side. I can get around better, I would think. Nope, he picked up the ball. The tag. Yeah. He picked up the blitz. Get about five yards out of that, six yards. They call the timeouts. Uh, we'll just go. <coughs> uh, let's go quarters. We'll do something like this. I'm going to see if I can bait him into an interception over here. That'd be nice. Get Stamper going. Lant, nope, going to the other guy. Oh, overshot it. So it's third and five. I guess we'll go back to Cloud. I'll control Harris. They're going ace normal again. They are really big on their 12 personnel. Good protection across the board. Great throw. Yeah, great play. He had all time to throw. It helps. That's their first first down of the game. First and 10. I'm going to go back to quarters. Looks like they're going with a bigger set. Going ace big, in fact. Toss. Ah, broke the tackle. Broke the tackle, so it's first down. Uh, da, 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 da. They're going with an even bigger set. Let's just... Ah, I called the wrong play. Dang it. Uh, can I do this? Yes. I got my audible set up. Good deal. I think I'm going to leave it as is. Somebody get it. I, I guess Sanders made the play on that one. I really couldn't tell. Uh, we're going to go quarters on this one. I'll control Stamper again. We'll do an over front. Make a play, somebody. Good tackle by Dillard. So it's third and seven. I guess I'll go back to Cloud. I eventually need to sprinkle in some uh, as that zone cover three blitz. I just forget to do it. Let's see what happens here. Intercept that. Great play by the corner and by the safety. It's fourth and seven. They're going to kick a field goal, which is fine. So that gives us a minute and a half to do something before the half. Let's see if we can get right down the field and score a touchdown. We're going to have to get a little bit more vertical in our passing game. But a minute and a half with three timeouts. I feel pretty good about getting down there. We just got to execute, of course, unless... We can get a humongous gain right here on the kickoff. Let's see what they go with. We're going to go on the right side and see if Batiste can make something happen. We can get a block or two. Just nothing really there. And that's coming back, so we were really back there. Uh, we're going to go, yeah, they're going to accept that. We're on the 11. I need to, I don't know if that's going to work. What we're going to, let's try. It's on my mind. Where's it at? We're going to go deep attack. We're going zone dime. I'm going to have him go on a slant just in case. Nope, he's not open. Had to throw that off the back foot. That was dangerous. That was really dumb on my part. They, was, they brought the blitz. You see somebody coming on the left side, I think. Yeah, he just got around my tackle. I should have went over to Williams. That's my fault. 
Second and ten. We are really back there. Uh, let me try. Let's do speed option. We're going zone nickel. At this point, I I kind of gave up on the on the drive. But who knows? We may be able to get something going here. I'm gonna bring in like another blocker. Did it help any? Yes. We're gonna at least maybe get a first down. Did it give it to us? First and ten. Good deal. But I don't think we got out of bounds, so we're gonna have to go. Let's go halfback circle. We're going man. And we did get it. No, we didn't. The clock is going. We're gonna go to somebody on the outside more than likely. We're gonna go over here. Nope. We're gonna have to go over here. Oh. I was fixing to get sacked again. So it's second and ten. I'm going to. I have an idea. We're gonna go PE read. We're going zone. So here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna do a rollout with our crosser. We're gonna bring him over. As long as they don't blitz on that side, we're gonna be okay, I think. Ah, this ain't good. I think. Uh, yeah, just a bad play. So that, I guess that play doesn't work against a three-three-five. So I've learned something. So it is third and forever. We can try tight end cross. Ah, they're going man. Wasn't expecting that. I'd love to see both safeties come down. That'd be cool. No, they're going to cover one. I'm going to go to Cooper. Oh, I didn't get it. Fourth and one. He did not get it. Um, I got to punt it, don't I? Yeah, let's just punt it. I thought he had it. Cooper had to come down to get it, so I guess the pass wasn't strong enough. They got an impact guy back there. Oh, a terrible kick. Ow. Gee whiz. They're going to get great field position. Dang it. I completely screwed that one up. That was my fault big time. All right, let's see if our defense can keep them out of the end zone at least. Ah, they keep flipping those. They do a good job on that. Do something like this. Get a sack right there. And they're not running. And now they're going clock. Ooh, I don't know what they expect here. We're going to do something like that. We're going to do quarters. And they're going to run the ball, which is, I am, look at this. We're going to almost get a first down. I'm going to call a timeout. I'm going to call a timeout. That's going to, I got to regroup. It's third and one. Ah, they're going, I don't know what they're going to do here. It's third and one. They may just run the ball. I know they're, oh, they're out of timeouts. They're going to pass. He's wide open over there, too. And pick that off. Wow, he caught that. And just like that, they are down 12. That's what happened. I don't know. Just a good play, good throw. Over the top. Oh, and my corner was right there. That had to have been a perfect throw in order for him to make that catch. Well, that was a big swing. And they get the ball start of the third quarter. Maybe we can get lucky. They got 14 seconds. Maybe we can get down the field somehow and get some points. We need a really good return. We haven't gotten one yet. I want them to kick at the Givens. There we go. I'm going to take my chance with Givens. Get a block right there. Get a block right there. Get a block right there. Great play. Eight seconds. Uh, I'm going to go. Halfback straight. Go zone. We're going zone. I don't know if this is going to work against this 3 3 5. We're about to find out. Not feeling any heat, which is good. Good catch. Got to call a timeout. We're on the 32 of two seconds. I don't think I can make that field goal. I think that's too. That's going to be like almost like a 50 yarder. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to do Hail Mary. I got no choice. I'm going to do Hail Mary. I'm going to pick the one in the middle. And we're going zone. That's going to be helpful. That way I get two impact guys on the left side. Let's we're going to bring him over. Let's go over the top. Can somebody get it? Nope. It was worth the shot. It was a good effort. So we're up 21-10. I still feel like we got complete control of the game, but they just had a little bit of a momentum swing right there at the end of the half. So let's go to stats and scores. Of course, we're up 11. Oh, we got a lot more first downs than they do. I mean, we're just leading in offense. We're leading in rushing. We're leading in passing, but not a whole lot. 
We've been able to get a couple sacks on them. Our third down situation's been really good. No turnovers by either team. You go to individual stats, 14 and 19, two touchdowns, no interceptions. By Stuck, he's playing really well. Williams has 71 yards. He's got a touchdown. Looks like he's well on his way to get about 150 today. Receiving, Gidros is leading in receptions. Williams is leading in the yards, which there's a bunch of guys kind of in the same area right there. But Gidros has both touchdowns. You go to defense, Gibbons is leading in tackles, tackles for loss, sacks, and we don't have any interceptions. So let's head back into the game. They're going to get the ball back. We need a good stop right here. We don't want them to get a touchdown and be within a you know four points of the game of us. That would be terrible. So let's see if we can play some sound defense. Good stop there by somebody. They're going with. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do their zone blitz again. I know we're going with a lighter load. We're going with the two back look, but please go play action. We're just getting lucky on the sacks. It helps that they're going to play action on every single one of these. So a second and 15, they're going with a really big set. I'm going to go quarters at a 4-3. I expect them to throw, but they're going out of a big set. That's why I'm going 4-3 quarters. Simple enough. I'll control Stamper. I got the flat. Fake toss. First down. I guess that was my guy to cover. There was nobody on the other in the flat area. Let's go quarters out of nickel. We need this guy to throw an interception. That's what we need. Maybe I can bait him into throwing a pick. Good throw there. He was open. Another first down. Uh, I'm going to go back to our zone blitz. Maybe they'll go play action again. I, I hate it takes him forever to get over there. We'll do something like this. Dive up the middle. Uh-oh. Another easy first down, so they are just moving right on us easily. Uh, they're doing that. Let's go quarters. At a 4-3. I want to give our blitz a break. We'll do an over front. They're going I twins. Going to lose a couple of yards there, so that's going to help. They're going to 12. I guess we'll go quarters again. If they score a touchdown here, that's just going to be a big swing for them. Two straight touchdowns. We need to get them out of the end zone. Intercept that somebody. Good play. That was pretty much triple teamed on the receiver. So it is, what, third and 12. We got to get a stop here. I'm going to try to go after him. I've struggled a bit getting after him today. We're going to I-Twins. I may have to, let's see. I may have to go to the outside. Oh, he just got all day to, dang, that first down. He just had all day to throw, and that's a good cover three beater. That swing. I tell you, they're just making plays at the moment, so it is first and ten for him. Kind of flip him over again. Do something over this. It's so slow. It doesn't flip well. Don't run it. Done. And they ran it. <laughs> and there he goes, just breaking tackles left and right. So it looks like they're just going to score on us. They're just determined to do so. Let's go nickel or 4-3 man. They're just making it look easy. They're just making plays every day on. All of a sudden, first quarter, they couldn't do anything. Now they're just playing like gangbusters. Screen. Oh, good blocking by everybody. That's six points. or close to it. That may be a holding, though. Please let it be a holding. Thank you. We will take that first and 20. We're going quarters out of nickel. We're going five wide. I'm going to do something like this. Maybe I can bait him into a pick. 
Oh, good play. Six points. Look at that. They're just making plays. All of a sudden, they're just playing perfect football. I don't get it. Uh, we're going to go this. I know it's probably what they're going to do. They're probably going to go off tackle on us. It said they was going four wide. Dang it, I hate when it does that. It said they went four wide and they went goal line. Go back and look at the film or the video. Go back and look at that. It said they're going four wide. Oh, we'll go. It don't matter. They're going to score. Let's go dog blitz. Do something like that. I assume they're going to go to the left. They're going to play. He's wide open. But we got the sack. Big play by Stamper. So that is what? They're going. Oh, that's five. Third down. Wow, we kept them out of the end zone. I thought that was second. How about our defense? I gave up on them. I thought they were for sure going to give up a touchdown there. Oh, kicker field goal. So now they are only down eight. We got to score some points. They just made it a ball game all of a sudden. They took up a ton of time there, too. They took up on well over three minutes. They just kept making third down conversions. That's a good play there for them. That's going in the end zone. We're getting to play cross up for the first time. We can try that. I don't know if it's going to work against a 3-3-5. They're going nickel. That's better. Not feeling a little bit of heat. Good throw. Good throw. Good. Great throw to Cooper. And that was spot on. Right where it needed to be. So we can stay here. I'm going to run. Half back off tackle. Zone dive. Just don't shift super hard to the right. That's one shift. I think that'll be okay. He came right on through. Just nobody blocked him. Not a single person. So it's second and forever. I'm going to go. I'm going to run the ball. This may sound goofy, but we're going zone. This probably wasn't a good idea. Um, I'm still going to go over here. Good defense. Just nowhere to go. That's third and forever. Oh, my gosh. This ain't good. I'm going to go halfback direct and get us in a better fourth down situation. It may not happen, though. They're going 3-3-5. So this may not work at all. Let's see. Just perfect defense. Perfect, 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 perfect defense. So we're going to go for this probably. Or where are we? On the 43. No, we can't do it. We got to punt it. Dang it. I just know all of a sudden we just can't do anything right. I know somebody's going to comment and say that's probably like a momentum meter on the back end. I don't know. It just sounds kind of weird all of a sudden. They just do everything right. We can't do anything right. That's actually a decent punt. Unfortunately, I want points. I don't want the punt. Let's go quarters at a nickel. So much for this being a blowout. That went out of the window really quick. We need a big play. Somebody needs to step up and make a huge play here. Gained by five yards there. Our front line's not doing anything. They, somebody needs to get a push up front. Nobody's getting any pressure on that quarterback. I have to do it myself with blitzes. Just like somebody up front needs to do something. Ah, oh, right up. Good, perfect play. Just look at that. They're just making plays. Just every play. Went in doubt. Let's go quarters again. I think they're going to keep throwing, even though they're running the ball lately. Went with a toss. And how lucky can you get right there? Just see that. Look at this corner. He got pushed in the wrong spot. Dang it. Oh, it burns me alive. They're just, they can't do nothing wrong. I don't understand it. Well, that's in a third quarter. That was the worst quarter ever. We're up eight, but they're just playing, I mean, they're playing better than us at the moment. So let, our goal here is to survive. Can we just come out of here with a win? Thank the Lord we've already won the division. I'd rather win though. Go play action again. Oh, he got out of it, and that's what we needed. Thank you, thank you, Gibbons. So we got the pressure by Gibbons. I couldn't get the sack somehow. I guess over-pursued just a little bit. Great play by the quarterback getting out of it. The problem is 
he ran into two defenders and a cornerback got the play oh my gosh that's play of the game right there now it's time to score a touchdown of some sort let's go let's go why stick they're going man we'll go to somebody on the outside cover one high snap get about five yards with Gidros. Uh, we can go here I want to run the ball or throw the ball some more. Let's go tight end dig. We're going zone nickel. We haven't called this play today yet, I don't think. Great catch. Great catch by Cooper. And he's hurt. Ah, oh, he injured his shoulder. That's no good. Uh, let's run the ball. Let's go to Williams for a little bit. How about that? Let's go here and let's just run slam. We're going man dime. They're doing that. We'll go to the left. I probably need to run some. Let's probably. I feel like I need to run clock. So let's just run some clock. How about that? I can't believe I'm saying that. That we're actually running clock. I think we got to. I don't mind chewing it up. We're only up one score. On the ground, ugh, ugh. Got to be patient with these blocks. We get about five yards there with Williams. Second and five. I'm going to go. Dive, maybe? And Cooper's after the rest of the game. Well, that stinks. It's second and five. We're going to try to go to the right side. I'm, again, I'm going to let this clock run. I think it's in our best interest to do so. Got to be wary of that defensive tackle. He is just really good. We're going to try to get away from him if we can. I probably should have ran slam because of it. I ran dive because they're going 3-5. Three, three, just good play. Good defense. Uh, we are going to, it's third and two. We're going to run option. It's third down and two to go. Now they're going 5-2 zone. Just weird some of their play calling today. I got to go to the right. I got no choice. I want to keep that corner on my side, so I'm going to leave everything as is. Then we'll see what we do on this play right here. Here's the option. Get a block right there. Stucky may be gone. Six. Oh, he couldn't get in. Oh, my gosh. Great play by Stucky, though. That is option 101 in this game. For this particular play, I am just reading that corner over here. I'm going to bring out my little thing if I can get it working. There we go. I'm just reading this guy right here. If he If he goes this way, I'm going to keep it with my quarterback go up, and then I'm just reading that guy beyond that point. So after I snap the ball, I notice that corner, they're running cover two. So I'm going to go between him, and you notice our fullback is going to block him anyways. At this point, it's just me and that safety. I'm waiting for the halfback or for the tight end right to make a block, but this guy decides to come down to cover Williams. So at this point, I'm just thinking I'm going to go for a touchdown. Unfortunately, I didn't get close enough. Not enough to get the six points, but just a great play by Stucky, who's had a really good game. So we're on the one-yard line. I want to give him another touchdown. We're going to go screen. Oh, they're going, man. This should be interesting. I think I may go to the screen anyways. We're going to go to McDonald. I'm going to let that clock run some, though. We're going to do that. Hopefully get the touchdown, get an extra point. That'll get us up 15. And that's going to make it really hard on Tulsa to come back and win. They can, though. There's still a lot of time left. And he drops it. Well, that didn't help anything. And I forgot that he's like my fifth best corner, too, or wide receiver. We're on the one. Let's keep it simple. Let's just go to Williams. How about that? Let's just go slam. They're going man 3-3-5. Three, three, I don't really don't know what to expect here. I'm going to get away from that linebacker. I'll tell you that much. We're going to go to the right. Just nothing. And a fumble. Oh, my best player. Fumbles again. At this stage in the fourth quarter, I'm going to call it again. They'll probably call it the same thing. Yep, they're going man 3-3-5. Three, three, wow. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. They may keep us out in the end zone. Just what a bad half this has been offensively. And a lot of it's all Tulsa. They're just running clock, scoring points, and keeping us out of the end zone. But maybe we can get it here. If we don't, I'll kick the field goal and go up two scores. Ah, oh, that was stupid of me, Al. I should have went up north. 
I should have went vertical, but there was nowhere to go. I had nowhere to go. You see here, there's just nowhere to go. I had a bounce to the outside, still nothing. Again, just great defense. It's, I don't know. Just for whatever reason, we just show, chose not to show up in the second half offensively. So I'm going to kick the field goal and go up two scores. I would love to go for it, go for a touchdown, but what if you don't get it? Now they're still just within one score, and I don't want that scenario. So I'm going to try to kick this field goal. Do something like this. Okay, so we're up two scores. That's what matters. We're up 11. They got a minute 54, so it's up to our defense to just do their job and win it for us. We'll do something like this. He's going to return it, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Oh, there he goes. Dang it. Dang it. And they're going to get a face mask to go with it. They didn't call it. If I didn't control Lumar there, that would have been six points. You see me back here. I'm controlling the kicker, but my kicker got beat on that one. So he broke a tackle there, and there's Lumar on the back end. If I don't control him right there, that would have been six points. I did not want to trust the CPU making a play there. Wow, and just like that, they're already past midfield. Incredible. What a wild game. Give it up for Tulsa for not giving up. I'm going to do an over front. All right, it's up to our defense to finish this thing out. We're going zone. He's over here. That's a good cover four beater. Second and eight. I'm going to stay in quarters. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to throw in my direction. He hasn't done that today. He's been going to the opposite side a lot. Play action, exact same play. Oh, and I, how, he got out of that. How in the world? And he broke that tackle. How in the world did he get out of that mess? That's just been how it, that's just how it's been all half. A, a true tale of two halves. I don't understand it, but you deal with it. Going speed option. And their quarterback just makes eight yards, and he's got like 68 speed. He got nine yards on that play. Makes no sense. If anyone can force a turnover, and they're going speed option, and he fumbles it. <laughs> That's what you get. And Stamper gets the fumble recovery, of course. So they have, it's a minute 16. They got how many timeouts? They got two. They're going to use those. So we're just going to hand the ball off to Williams, so we're going to let them waste their timeouts. Let's see if we can just do a basic run. I got to go to the right. Yeah, just nowhere. Good defense. Again, they're just shutting us down. Second and nine. We can try. Um, QB choice. Very good chance I'll still hand it off. We're going man nickel. I want that linebacker to cover the receiver. I can't tell if he is, but I got no choice but to hand it off here. The clock has stopped, so we're going to do something like this. We're going to let Williams handle it. He may score a touchdown. <laughs> oh, he's going to get caught in. No, he's not. Good for you, Williams. Good for you. 80-yard run. Put him out of their misery. 30-13. to 13. That's a great way to end it. Wow. What a great turn of events. We got lucky on that fumble. We got it back. And in two plays, we gave it to our best player. Went 80 yards. Took it back to the house. Awesome. Woo! Okay. That should do it. And just like that, the game's going to look like a blowout, even though we all know it wasn't. That's our first touchdown of the half. That's crazy. At least it feels like it. I think it is. We'll kick it back off. I guess they're going to try to pass a lot the rest of the way. We may force a turnover of some sort again. Things could have got really interesting if they would have scored a touchdown back there on that last drive. They would have done an onside kick, and then after that, who knows what would have happened. But we lucked out. Stamper got that fumble. And we made a touchdown out of it. Impact players making plays. It happens for the CPU. It happens for us. He's wide open over there. Somebody go get him. Picks up nine, eight yards. Now here they come. Probably going to run that speed option play again. 
working on their timing and right there it paid nope they're gonna pass it Ooh, he still oh, he still broke that tackle he's the impact guy that makes sense that's another first down they just didn't make the play on the ball you're right it wasn't necessarily bad defense the offense just probably go to that same play i guess steps up in the pocket looking across the middle great play by the tight end they got a pretty good quarterback i got to give him credit he's been making plays out there today do something like this i'm gonna i'll stick with quarters looks like they're calling the same stuff over and over again but it's working Somebody make a play. He overshot it, thankfully. Second and 10. I want to get out of this. Look at how gassed everybody is. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's about to pass out. I'm going to go zone blitz. I wish my front four would have done something today, but they didn't. Oh, I went the wrong way on that. Nobody got a push up front today. Play action. Oh, he got in front of it. Well, we got another interception. This time it was Charles. So technically the quarterback who I just praised had three turnovers today. I still feel like he played enough to win. But he felt the heat and he threw it right there. And it's like that, the game is over with 16 seconds. Let's take a knee and end it. I don't imagine they would call a timeout after this play. Something like this. And game over. Whew. Well, that was an interesting game. It got really weird in the third quarter and most of the fourth. But that last minute and a half, two minutes, everything just went our way, thankfully. So it was just a big wave of things. We owned the first quarter. They owned the second and the third. And I guess we owned the fourth. We could check the box score here in a minute. But there it is, 10-0. We are undefeated in the conference. That is a good sign that the program is headed in the right direction in our third season. Things should only get better. I would love to see us get by to the SEC next year. I don't know if that's going to happen. Let's check out this, the stats. 302, the hour 416. They had 232 yards passed. It felt like they did. I thought their quarterback in general played pretty well. We was able to get four sacks on them. Both teams done a pretty decent job on third down, but they had three turnovers. Two of them were the fumble, or one was a fumble, and two of them were uh, interceptions. Let me go look at the individual stats. Stuck. He had a really good game, I thought. 17 to 23, two touchdowns, the big thing, no interceptions. Re running the ball. Williams, he got half of his yards off that last play of his. 161 yards, two touchdowns. That should get him probably back in the Heisman hunt. Receiving. Gidro still let it receiving, but our passing game didn't do anything in that second half. We didn't have a whole lot of opportunity to, and when we did, they shut us down. Uh Cooper led in receiving yards, but touchdowns with the Gidros. It's pretty much all Gidros in the receiving side of things. You look at the defense. Jonathan Bell, this is probably not a good thing. I thought our defense overall played really well, but when your free safety is leading in tackles, that's probably not a good thing. Then your next guy is Givens. Then your next guy is Sanders. We had, like, just nobody in our front seven make many tackles. But you go tackles for loss, Givens. He had the three sacks. But we had interceptions by linebackers. Just a really weird stat line. The linebackers got the interceptions. All the tackles went to the secondary. Makes no sense. Well, okay, Route got an interception. My bad, I misspoke on that one. But you go to the sacks, it was Gibbons uh, and uh, Stamper. We had the one there. And you go to the box score. As I said earlier, we won the first quarter. I get, Technically, we won the second, I guess. But they definitely won the third, but we won the fourth big time, especially those last couple minutes of the game all right let's get out of here oh my gosh so our next two games are going to be very interesting they're non-conference games we're going to play at florida hopefully this is a prelude of what's to come in the next few seasons if we get invited to the sec we're gonna go ahead and simulate the week we'll go over here we're going to speed this up and then we'll look at our next couple of games Oh my gosh, we're seventh in the country. We should move up at least a little bit. You would think somebody ahead of us would get in trouble. We got to pay close attention to that when we look at the top 25 scores here real quickly. And next up, I need to do that. There we go. And let's check out the top 25 scores. Of course, we beat Tulsa, Virginia Tech, NC State, Michigan won. Let's see. Then you got Louisville, Texas Tech got upset. Texas A&M got beat. 
Ohio State got beat. It's a lot of upsets so far. Florida barely beat Vanderbilt, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Florida State. Then you got LSU got upset. USC won. Colorado, South Carolina. And then you have Oregon State, UCLA, and Virginia got up, upset. So there was a ton of upsets. But I don't think we – yes, we are – going to take on number three Florida. Who would have thought this? We got a top five matchup against number three Florida with our little two-lane green wave team. Who would have thought that? That's really cool. I'm really excited to take on the Gators. It's been a while since I played them. They're spread offense, 4-3 defense. That's back when Urban Meyer was there. They haven't recruited all that well. You notice this? I think that's interesting. B overall on the recruiting. So they're just not really bringing in the talent. I don't know either that or they're just really young. We'll check that out in the next video. But they are passing the ball really well. Looks like their offense in general is really killing it. Their defense is doing just fine. But look at us. We are doing our thing as well. Of course, our rush defense looks atrocious. That's what happens when you go up against impact halfbacks all the time and they give up like 300 yards and such. But it should be a whole lot of fun. So come on back. We will take on the mighty Florida Gators, and I'll talk to you later.